Hello, hello my friends. This is Jeanette filming from the city of San Antonio, Texas in this beautiful new day of life videos. I'm trying to stick to posting two videos, tutorials slash review per week plus shorts. Um, it is uh, my willing to do at least three videos. You understand the hassle and how long can take the editing for one video but I'm trying to speed up trying to don't make my videos too long when I'm creating my makeup uh, tutorial I'm introducing the product okay and I hope that you like it that way uh, you would like for me to do the reviews in a separate video I can do that I invite you to stay with me please through the process of this new makeup tutorial day Today we're going to be speaking, my friends, uh, about all luxury, as you already know. Today is going to be all about this beauty, which it is Ember Bronze. And I have it with a tray, friends. I'm going to explain it one more time because it is a chain what happened. Um, this is not a situation that occurred only to me. I've seen um, content creator influencers on YouTube opening the palette and the foil metallic shade falling apart and I was not the exception okay so but the palette friends the palette putting that issue apart the palette is one of the most stunning palette I've seen super exotic the finish, the color-wise, color combination, my friends, it is just in another level. So, let me see if I can, because I'm so scared and it's going to fall out again. But this is this is tiny palette, friends. I'm so happy I got this palette. I don't see many influencers reviewing this palette and I think they, they they are thinking okay it is another brown shade with another bronzy color because we have similar shade but I can tell you friends this is a different palette okay makeup is no makeup 100% perfect so for many reasons I invite you to stay with me please through the process of this makeup look. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like and comment please. All of my videos are done 4K using 70% of natural light and 3% of artificial light. I'm going to begin by introducing you to this stunning product I just bought from Tom Ford website. This is a shade and illuminate radiance corrector and skin enhancer. I got the shade light specifically on this product friends as I'm been explaining I do have very dark circles. My dark circles are purple, bluish. I have a rosy undertone. You have no idea how happy I was when I found this product. As you can observe, the rosy shade. This is the one that I'm been using for Correcting my dark circle, which is silk with cool pink undertone. And on top, I normally go with this shade, which is my neutral shade that I use to enlight my eyes. I did it on this one. I don't know if you can observe the difference. I do a lot of radiance happening over there. But let me see how the product is going to perform. I love the applicator, my friend, because I have that little kind of curvature 
you know. And another thing with a tiny little bit, you go a long way. The texture of this product, my friend, is completely silky. It's very, very nice, friends. What do you think? I can see right away the brightening effect on the eye. Wow! I can see. Let us see and wait until the product actually set. Okay. Silky, highly, highly hydrating. Hydrating. Oh wow! <laughs> Looking at the mirror over here, I can see the brightening on my eyes. Wow! It's so beautiful. So I'm going to continue, my friends to this new creation, a new release from Christian Dior. As you understand, my friend, I'm going to be listing every product I'm going to demo today for you to be able to have the information if it happened, then this video help you to find a product, you know, that can resolve or help with some of your problems. The idea for today is to do half of my face with Christian Dior, which is that is exactly what I'm going to do. One pump, because with this product, friends, you go a long way. The shade I'm using is shade one. I can see right away as the application is happening the blurring effect and how the large pores on this side of my face friends got completely literally instantly minimized the product is exquisite I'm going to introduce you with this stunning production from Anna Sui my loves Look at this beauty. Yesterday I was reading all the information about this face primer. Friends, you go you couldn't believe it if you read that. I don't want to go again through the same thing because I already provide all the information. I'm going to be using friends. Come with this spatula, but I Trust better my fingers, okay? And this product is a gel form, then turn into liquid to the touch of your skin. This is how it is completely compact. Oh, oh wow. It is correct. It is a gel that turn into liquid. Oh wow. I'm just grabbing what it is on the cup, okay? Blurring effect as well. This is the finish. Look how much I use from the lid because I'm not going to waste it. Even though if I move the product, look what I'm doing, the product hardly move. It is stunningly jelly. Okay. Yeah, I had a soft pink undertone. Okay. And a sweet. I pay $42 for this on Anna Sui website. And I pay, I would like to say 65 for the Christian Dior. So you tell me which one do you like better? Anna Sui, Christian Dior. Let me give you my feedback, okay? Both are providing an stunning luminosity. Yes. It's a very glassy finish. 
to the touch my friend how I wish you can touch this product it's just mesmerizing it is super soft super jelly but at the same time when touch the skin it turn into liquid oh my friends and both cheeks I have the same literally the same luminosity but let me you to judge what do you see through the screen okay well, regarding the color corrector I see the luminosity and it's still active I don't know yeah you can perceive over there and I'm going to proceed on top friends and apply the concealer okay so let us see and I'm going to do the ono blank O N O blank and remember friends makeup it is all about preferences and I do enjoy giving light to my eyes okay a little loss of volume there on the corners mainly and this is the result okay I'm going to proceed and apply the foundation the 2.5 neutral okay okay my friends this is the consistency of the Christian Dior Forever Skin Glow foundation and I'm using the 2.5 neutral the glowy and dewy finish my face have my friends it is just stunning let me tell you that on both sides I can see this glassiness this side was using the glow filter from Christian Dior half of my forehead on this side with Anna Sui the gel filter primer From my beautiful friends I just proceed off camera applying this is stunning creation from Christian Dior from the line Blooming Boudoir Lavender it's beautiful I just did apply it where I did conceal my eyes so for my lips I did apply through the process of the makeup look La Mer the lip volumizer it is clear it just give you the moist that your lips need my beautiful friends I'm going to proceed and apply my contour the shade and illuminate contour intensity 1 This is the illuminator and that is the contour. I'm going to be applying this with my fingers, okay? So I won't talk too much because I want that you observe. The best application you can have with your product is using your fingers, friends. So I highly encourage you.
put your fingers to, fingers to work. These are your very best friends. Even though if you had to blend something around your eyes, which is my case, I'm going to do it in a little bit, you always use the warmth of your fingers. This application one more time if you want a natural finish on your product friends you can use this technique I'm showing right now um, and I'm doing this because actually when I'm working I use a lot my fingers but since I am here you know uh, I'm being very prone to be using more my brushes okay but the best application you can ever have is with your fingers okay you want the tip make like a little E with your product I'm using a Pat McGrath look at this how pretty it is the finish friends okay Look at the finish. It's a peachy. I can provide to you with the name. It's super moisturizing. As you understand, friends, you can always apply your powders on top or vice versa. First powder, then creamy. O sea, the placement doesn't have to be exactly as you see in every single video on YouTube, Instagram, no. Placement had a lot to do with preferences, okay? What makes and works better for you. This palette is really versatile or you can go matte if that is what you want. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going, since I did apply the ivory, I'm going, to, you know, to decrease Look at the pigmentation, friends, considering that this shade, it is the soft of the brown on the palette. Okay. I haven't applied more product. I'm just working with whatever, with what it is left on the brush, okay? But I, I'm going rounding Look at that, it's very pretty, it's very the, the finish that this technique gives to your eyes, friends, is very beautiful. So, and I'm going to combine the brown and the ivory, because what we want to do here is just a pop of light with that bronze. Okay, but as you observe, as I come to the inner, the shade start fading, okay? Very simple makeup look. Can you observe the transition there? So we are working with all matte. And that's it. Look, not even five minutes. So that's what we have. And now using my finger, I want to use the foil metallic shade on the center of my eyelid. All the way up so how I do this by pressing the pigment on my eye okay
at this. You want more intensity, you can wet your brush. But the color is just stunning frames. Look at that. It's very, very pretty. And the only thing I'm missing here, you know what it is, friends? It is the lightest, uh, like a probably shimmer shade. But we are going to make that happen with another palette. Okay? So this is what I have. And we're going to do something very interesting now, okay? Um, I'm going to be using Pat McGrath. This opal nude. New, uh, new uh, highlighter palette. She launched nude opal. Something like this, okay? So this is opal, nude opal. That is the proper name. So I'm going to grab a tiny little bit of this product and I'm going to give a little pop of light to the inner. Look how much the eye change with a very small brush. I'm going to grab on this brown and I'm just going to apply it on my lower lash line. So now I grab it in a little bit of the ivory shade and I just diffuse the edges. So this is more or less what we have, okay? Very subtle, super, 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 super easy. If you are on the go and you have this palette but you don't know what to do with this palette you don't know how to use this palette this is an alternative makeup look and look the the statement the camera is less than a foot away from my face and we haven't applied any liquid eyeliner yet you can create I'm thinking let me try if it is your desire to do a little of a statement but not too much I'm going to grab a tiny little bit of the darkest shade and I'm going to apply it along my upper lash line This is giving dimension to the eye, but nothing crazy, okay? If you are a minimalist, let us put it that way. The pigmentation of this palette is in another level. With just a tiny, tiny little bit, you go a very long way. You can leave it like this just as it is okay and apply mascara or you can apply your black eyeliner on the waterline or brown if you have the brown and the mascara okay so let, let us apply um, a 
gel cold pencil on the upper waterline and see how this end. This is more or less a look, you know, for somebody that need to go, for example, to run errands, to work, thinking you have, you own this palette and thinking that you don't know how to make a nice eyeliner, thinking that you don't know how to create sharp wings, okay? It is an eye makeup look that is more minimalist, okay? More like a, a daily basis work, okay? I'm going to propose you something. Let us say that it is evening and you want a little bit of a statement over this same makeup look because as you understand friend for me it is really hard to not you know include some type of pigment even though that Tom Ford include this bronzy coppery shade over there uh, unless you wet very well the brush you will see more payoff of the shade okay but let us say that you don't have setting spray and you don't know how to do that technique. Grab any pigment you have at home, any, any pigment. I am more than positive that you might have some product somewhere over there. Look what I'm going to show you, friends. I have this palette from Isamaya. See, there. From Isamaya. I just invest on this stunning artistic palette and I can see two shades here which are they are duochrome friends this one and this one that are really alike to the shade or the pigment I did apply on the center of my eyelid but let us say you want a little bit more of a statement. Look what I have here. I have that one. And I have this one that is a lot more orangey. Okay? Those two. Let us say that we want to do this one. Let me see. Oof. Wow, friends, with a tiny little bit, I grab on this pigment and I got a super strong payoff. Look at that. Bring light to the eye, look. Just any palette. If you have palette that contain pigments, friends, this is something you can play around with. Look at these stunning, beautiful shades. Wow. This shade on the bottom over here can work perfect, my friends, for a pop of light. Let me see how this is going to work. Just there in the inner. <sighs> Friends, look at that. How much you can make your eyes change. Okay? So even though, if you want, Look, something very little, creative, and can give a lot of a statement to your eyes. Friends, when I come and I sit here, something I never plan my makeup looks, okay? Oh, I'm in love with this pigment, friends. In love, what I can say. 
from the Isamaya palette. Friends, if you want to invest in beautiful product, friends, oh, I highly recommend this palette from this makeup artist that has been rocking in Europe. I'm more than positive that you are really familiar, okay? And let us apply a tiny little bit of mascara on the lower eyelashes and to see how this turn. So depending how you are going to move is the reflections of this stunning pigment we just did apply. Because I think my phone is not making justice to how pretty this eyeshadow palette is. And of course with a tiny little touch from Isamaya Volume 2 palette, okay? So I took you from a very soft, very soft glamour makeup look to something with a little bit more of a statement, okay? So let us work on this other eye and I come back. Friends, I just did apply Christian Dior's The Maximizer 3D Primer Coat. Okay, and now I'm going to apply the Dior, is called Dior Cho Waterproof Mascara from Christian Dior as well. I love this brush. Wow. From a minimalist eye makeup look, we come to this stunning eye makeup look. And the good news here than all of the product I expose on this table today, they are all high-end brands. Okay, starting by the palette from Tom Ford 46 Amber Bronze. Stunning formulation, highly pigmented. That beautiful, I'm sorry, that beautiful dry wet formulation that we love so much from all of his product. I did create a second makeup look with that palette. And um, for my bronzing, I use Valentino. It is a universal shade for my blush. And here I need my glasses because I throw away the box so I can see very well the name. But it's a uh, Peach Lotus. Oh. Friends, this Peach Lotus, it is a cream form. For that reason I'm telling you, I'm going to give one more um, application. But in the meanwhile, I'm contouring my lips with a Isamaya lip liner. One is Buck and the other one is Buff. That is the difference. Buck is a very dark one and Buff is the most soft. So I'm applying the soft one, okay? On the corners, always end inward because if you bring the line outward as sometimes our lips are it's going to give a, an effect of droopiness okay see I think this shade is beautiful for this kind of a I make up look and we're going to do something really nice on the lips. This is from YSL. It's kind of a, a brownish with a peachy undertone that I think can work amazing with this I make up look or I can use this vibrant shade from tomb 4 
this is deeper, this is brighter, and red, let me see. Yeah, it is like a, a reddish, the one from Tune 4, from YSL, which is that shade, because it's a beautiful color. It's extremely creamy. Oh my goodness. Look at this shade, friends. Wow. Let me enhance a little bit more. Friends, imagine that you are really tan. Imagine that you really want a, like a those kind of sunbait effect look how stunning is this a from YSL it's a, a satin it is a satin finish 46 amber bronze I said it yesterday on the first video and I will repeat it again today but this is what I use to create this makeup look I couldn't be more excited and happy with this makeup look I actually am obsessed with it Okay, I'm obsessed with the performance of this beautiful and stunning palette. I think, okay, I like it. this one better there. I'm obsessed with the performance of every single other product I use for today's makeup look. You have a palette for a very long time here. If you are thinking to invest on this palette, friend, I highly recommend it because it, it is just gorgeous I cannot imagine myself being tan because now I, I am a light skin true light and imagine you being some bay right and with an statement like this super pretty but like I'm saying this is just going to the extreme of the eye makeup look and the lip okay it's more like monochromatic uh, type of look. I can stop looking at the eyes, zero fall out. Okay, I got a tiny little bit in the very beginning, but was literally nothing. Yesterday I did another uh, makeup look using the same eyeshadow palette, friends, and I just want to explain to you I went nine and a half hours with a placement impeccable on my eyes, okay? So, probably you are not going to see the latest, latest, latest of the releases on my channel because the purpose of being here is to help you, my love. Don't take me wrong. I, I show you a lot of our new releases as well. But the main purpose is to how to use the product you already have at home. Who in the world does have a palette that at least is similar like this? Now for the sunset, now that we're transitioning, you know, from winter to spring. Even though then since January, every single company on the beauty market are been releasing a spring product. But let me tell you, here in Texas right now, yesterday we were 40 degrees, today we are a little more lucky, 55 degrees, and it's still really chill. So, the inspiration for me right now is, you know, to go into that transitioning, which it is the purpose, and I'm going to repeat it again and show it again, which it is the purpose of the creation that Tune 4 did regarding these uh, two eyeshadow palette friends 
Okay, because everybody said, oh, another smoky palette. Oh, another bronze palette. Oh, another thing. Okay, this jewelry shadow palette from Tomb 4. Okay, the purpose of this creation, friends, was for the transitioning from the winter into spring. I have the trace because the shade here on top is loose. So, if you go to my channel, you are going to see full, full makeup looks using this stunning creation from him. Thank you very much for staying until this point with me. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment to my channel, my loves, because uh, you help me to keep growing. Um, I'm here literally by pure heart because I was dying to have my channel uh, to share, friends, mainly share with you everything, you know, about, uh, not only about uh, placement and stuff like that, but about, you know, techniques, uh, formulation in a product. I can never recommend something, friends, if I think that the product is not worth of your money. Okay, all of my videos are fun 4K using 70% of natural light, 30% of artificial light. Thank you so much. I love you all. I hope that you are enjoying this eye makeup look. It's no eyeliner. And I'm going to be listing everything. Okay, subscribe. That not only watch my videos, subscribe because I need it. Thank you so much, my friend. Mwah.